Okay, so now they've bought it, okay? Now, I call this installation, but you install everything into your life, okay? I bought this thing and had to install it into my life. Whether or not you actually have to have someone come out with a hammer and install it is academic. But we do a lot of this kind of stuff at our place, you know, actual manuals and installation instructions and things like that. And, and this is an important thing, okay? Are your assembly and installation instructions clear, okay? Are they written clearly, or more importantly, are they not written at all, a la Ikea, <laughs> where they know everybody on the planet is gonna have one of these bookcases eventually, so they're not gonna bother to put it in that many languages, they're just gonna take all the languages out and go with nothing but pictures. But do you understand it, okay? Are the people that drop your $2,000 leather sofa off at your house nice? Hell, it's a $2,000 leather sofa. They should wash your driveway when they're done. Does the manual or instructions or whatever feel like the brand? Okay? If I bought a Mercedes and got the owner's manual out, and I bought a Ford Focus and got the owner's manual out, they are way the hell too alike, okay? A Mercedes manual should be really nice, okay? And if I go buy a tuner, then the manual ought to be really cool. Whether or not it's really nice, it ought to tell me how to hook the green neon to the bottom. Experience. We're going around, we're going around, okay? The experience economy everybody talks about now. Everybody talks Disney, Starbucks, all those things, okay? I'm here to tell you, if you've got the kind of product where you could do that, by all means do that, okay? But don't forget that there are a lot of products that can't do that. You know, if you aren't really in control of the environment where somebody consumes your product, it's very difficult to make a big experience out of it. But if you can do this, it's wonderful, and by all means, make sure that whatever experience they have doesn't smudge off on their fingers or whatever while they're having it. Uh, oh, hey, another story. This is not, I did not really get my hair cut by Marilyn Monroe. But I got to say, she really did look a ton like her, okay? So she used to cut my hair in college, and... She quit where she cut hair and she said, Psst, you know, I'm still cutting hair at home. Okay, so I showed up for my haircut at home because shit, it was Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> okay, so you go to Marilyn Monroe's house to get your hair cut and she doesn't have like a barber chair, you know, because she's a poor college student like me. <coughs> so instead, you go into Marilyn Monroe's house and she sits on a kitchen chair like this and you sit here on the ground between Marilyn Monroe's knees, okay? I gotta say, that's a haircut. Okay, that is the experience economy. So for your brand, you gotta keep the love alive. If what you sold was the cover of a romance novel, then you can't give her the red green show and expect her to stick around. Keep your brand's promise. Okay, day to day, is it pleasant? Does it do what you said it would do? Gosh, that doesn't really seem that big a request. Um, does it make my life easier or harder dealing with it? And then stay in touch with these people. And here's something that's gone on in time, okay? That is actually Cleopatra, okay? And no reference to anyone I dated. But Cleopatra knew everyone that did everything for her. Okay? Half of them she had killed right after they did it. But she knew them all. Okay? Then this is Betsy Ross. Also did not date her. Um, now we've got people that are making things in England. They're shipping them to America. But at least you know the shopkeeper that you're buying things from. And you have a relationship with that shopkeeper. Time marches on. Okay? That is today's woman. Okay? You go to Walmart. 
you are not talking to anybody that has anything to do with anything you're buying or knows anything about it. You're lucky if they can get you in the right row. They certainly can't help you decide between this one and this one. Okay? There's a total disconnect. So the world has rushed in to fill that up. Okay? That's really Judy Jetson. Didn't date her either. Um, customer relationship management was invented to fill this hole. You can have a relationship with Mountain Dew. Not with the person you buy it from, not with the person who put it in the bottle, but with that brand. You can send that brand email, you can go on YouTube and make video for it. You can have a relationship with these totally corporate, global corporations. A one-on-one -on -one relationship where they will send you an email that says, dude, love the video, thanks. So, CRM, okay? Millions of one-on-one -on -one relationships. And the beauty of it is that if I've got millions of people that are relatively similar in behavior, I can filter out little chunks of them, 100,000 here, 100,000 there, send them correspondence that to them seems perfectly genuine and one-on-one -on -one because it's about them. You know, they are left-handed skateboarders who drink Mountain Dew, okay? They just don't happen to realize that you have 750,000 other guys just like them that you could talk to in a big lump. Okay, demographics are nice, okay? These are my daughters who I chase in different ways. Um, I didn't realize how much two people who are demographically almost identical can be different until the two of them got to be teenagers, okay? <laughs> Straightest kid in the world, okay? Just made national honor roll, you know, gonna be a congressman. Her sister, practically demographically identical, okay? Emo, wears a necktie to school and a striped vest and is just a funky kid who <laughs> is like the life of the party, okay? <laughs> but if I were demographically pulling them out of the herd, they are the same person, okay? Your customers are just as different. So never stop listening to them. And more importantly, say back to them exactly what they said to you. You know, I love the fall fashions. Aren't the fall fashions cool? Just like a conversation, okay? Greatest conversationalist in the world is just gonna tell you what you told them and let you feel fascinating the whole time. 